Why is it so difficult for people to forgive you? You've been wondering to yourself why it's so difficult for people to forgive you. You're not the first person to make a mistake. You're not the first person to do something wrong. Others have been wrong and you've forgiven them. Others have hurt you and you've forgiven them. You've let go of what they did. So why is it so difficult for people to forgive you? For people to just forget about what you did, let go of what happened. There is a mistake you made and it has become the talk of the town. It is on the lips of everyone around you. People have changed how they perceive you, changed how they relate with you. They have pinned that mistake on your face and it's like every time they look at you. They only see your mistake and you've been wondering to yourself, how long do I have to suffer before you forgive me? How long do I have to suffer before you forget what happened? How much more are you going to torment me? God says I should tell you. He has a fresh start for you. This person I'm talking to, God says he has a fresh start for you. In John chapter 8 verse 3 to 11, the Bible tells us that a certain woman was caught in adultery and the Pharisees dragged her to Jesus and they told him she has been caught in adultery and we want her to be stoned to death. It did not matter whether this woman was sorry or not. They only wanted her to be stoned to death and Jesus told them, He who is without blame should be the first person to cast the stone and they all stood there and nobody casted a stone. Which means they were all wrong or had done something wrong at some point in their lives and they had been pardoned but here they were trying to stone this woman to death for her mistake. Same thing that has been happening to you. It doesn't matter how sorry you are. Nobody is willing to let go of what you did. God wants to give you a fresh start. The Bible tells us that when Jesus had finished writing on the ground and looked up and saw that the woman was still standing there, he asked that woman, where are your accusers? Has nobody casted a stone on you? And she says, they are all gone. Nobody casted a stone on me. And Jesus tells her, you can go and sin no more. Jesus gave her a fresh start. Jesus gave her a clean slate. In other words, Jesus told her, I don't care what you have done or where you have been before. I have a fresh start for you. God says he doesn't care what you did. God doesn't care what your mistake was. He doesn't care when or how long ago it was that you made that mistake. All that God wants to give you is a fresh start. If your heart is open, I'm making this prayer for you. That God will give you a fresh start in the name of Jesus. I declare that guilt is broken in the name of Jesus. I declare the Lord opens a new chapter for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare your sins are forgiven and they will be remembered no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Your mistake will be remembered no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive forgiveness. Receive your fresh start in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Pastor Igwe loves you. Please like and share before you go. Also subscribe if you're joining us for the first time. God bless you. I'll see you in our next session. Shalom.